Good morning, everybody. We are back to our regularly scheduled chore schedule. Uh, I am off to milk. It is Tuesday morning, so unfortunately my wife is going back to work again. Uh, but it looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. And we've got to take uh, Homestead Boy 1 to the dentist. He's got to have a little bit of work done. So we are going to be heading out here shortly. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I will catch up with you guys in a second. So we got several things at the flea market. Um, not a ton of stuff, but I've been wanting one thing for the house for quite a while. And I just haven't gotten around to getting it. And this is part of it right here. I'm going to be knocking this into the ground. And then I'll be showing you guys what this is. Have any guesses? So, you just put a bolt in the top of three quarter inch conduit, and then that way, the top of the um, conduit doesn't mushroom out. Now, put a furniture slide on the bottom, and we're ready for the other part. I'll be right back. Okay, so the other parts are this right here. It's a bag with something in it. And there's this, it's compression fitting. This right here, it's a ball. Oh, it's more than a ball. It's a ball with a, that goes on top of something. And the coup de gras, which will show you what it is for sure, a flag. Bought a flag pole. Let me show you how it goes up. Okay, so the pressure fittings are on. It's got an O-ring with a, let's see if I can show you. It's got an O-ring on here with a carabiner, and then it's got fiberglass sections that you just put up. So, let's get it over here. This goes up like that, and then you put it up. Okay, so there's our flagpole. It is, let me see if I back up a little bit here. It is a 24 foot flagpole. It's fiberglass sections and it goes up and down just as fast as you saw it. Uh, literally like 30 seconds. So if there's a huge storm coming, I can quickly take it down, no problem. And as you saw, it just goes over the top of a piece of conduit um so if i want to move it the guy who i bought it from he said his like major market is campers you know who you want to go someplace in their campground just a second buddy yes I'm, yes i'm gonna leave it there who want to go someplace in their you know camper and have a flagpole with them and this thing can travel with them it literally weighs 10 pounds tops um so we've got a flagpole i'm gonna have to get some um solar spotlights to keep on the flag or just take it down every night but i'd rather just put up um some solar spotlights so we'll see if i can find some of those but for now that thing is great it gets me a flagpole it's not a permanent solution but i've got a flagpole so i'm pretty psyched one of the other things that we got while we were at chip Chihuahua is you guys know how much i love these new gloves that i got um on amazon so they're like elastic type gloves with a vinyl coating and they're awesome. They're, I, I love them a lot. It was four pair for $14, so $350 a pair. 
Um, while we were there, I saw these. And they're the same basic thing. They're the elastic type gloves with a vinyl coating. Now, I'm going to guess they're probably not as high a quality, but who knows? Maybe they are. But I think there's like 12 pair in here. And they were 8 bucks. So, let me show you guys. So, see? Same kind of elastic coat, um, glove with the, I don't know if it's vinyl or nitrile covering, coating, but the ones that I have so far have been really, really durable. I've been using them all the time for cutting grass, for gardening. Um, I love them. They're great. And the, like I said before, you don't have to take off your, um, your gloves to put in earplugs or to do something that, you know, you need fine motor skills. So I was really pleased with this. Purpose. Hey guys, we are headed to swim. We've got Homestead Boy 2, Homestead Girl 1, and Homestead Boy 3. Uh, Homestead Boy 2 and Homestead Girl 1 had swimming. My little buddy's just coming along. So we're heading in there. We've got, we've got to take Homestead Boy 1 to the other swim team. Um, and I've got to milk a cow and just got a busy evening. So if there's anything else that comes up, I will take you guys along. Hey, you hot on? <laughs> 